Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these retro seed beads earrings. I'm showing step by step and they are easy to make with easy and simple materials, only seed beads and standard earring findings. So I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will be inspired often usually twice a week. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there you will also see a link to my second channel that you could check out if you want and don't forget that now I have chapters on my videos or you could always skip the intro and skip the list of materials and go directly to the work itself. Okay now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads golden chameleon and white colors. You could use other contrasting colors of your choice. These are earring findings in black color. This is nylon thread which is 0.2 millimeters or size D and uh, this is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. I'm back and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful golden beads. By the way, I'm stretching my nylon thread before I start working with it. And I have a tutorial on how to use the different types of threads and you could see it in the right corner. Okay, and now I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and now guys I have this. Now in my next step what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. Okay like this and I'm going to pick up two of these beautiful chameleon beads and as I'm exiting through this golden bead I'm going back through it. Okay and now you see I have a loop between two beads and this golden which is in the center of my work. Now what I do is that I go through two beads in this direction and I'm going to take again two of these chameleon beads and I go back through the one that I'm exiting out of. Okay you see now I have one bead space between those two elements here or loops of beads. Okay then again I go through two And I take two and this time I will give you an idea how to save time. I'm going through this one here but I also want to go through the following two because in this way I will save one movement. If you want to do it with two steps like I did in these previous two loops. Okay and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay and now I have this and in my next step what I want to do is go through this golden 
and then I want to go through this chameleon bead here that's on my way and I'm going to take one white bead and I'm going through this chameleon then I'm going to pick one golden and go here through the next chameleon bead then again one go here and then one golden go here one white and through the next chameleon and then again a golden and I'll or alternate them a golden a white and when I add the golden I go from the center to the outside and when I add the white I go from the outside to the center of my work Okay, now I have this. Now in my next step, I want to go through this white bead here. And I want to take three whites. Okay, now this three plus this one, it makes four. And when I go back through this one, like I did in my previous steps, going back through the bead I'm exiting out of, and add three. Now you see, I will have a cross of four, also called right angle weave. And then I will go to the next white bead. Again, I will take three white beads and I'm going back here through this one, like this. Then in my next step, I'm aiming for the next white. Okay, and here what I need to add are three more white beads. And what I want to do is go through as many beads as I can in this direction, just to save time. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm exiting through the next white. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now I finished this row and what I want to do next is cut this tail thread because I don't want it to be on my way all the time. Okay, and now what I want to do is go through those white beads in this direction. In fact, go and reinforce this last white then what I want to do is go here, take just one chameleon bead, go here, through this white, you see where, pull. Then what I want to do is take one chameleon, go through the golden here, just like this. Then take another chameleon and go through this white. Then another and go here. You see where I'm going. Okay, but I must tell you that it's easier for me to work in this direction. That is why I'm going to flip my work. If you want, you could do these steps in the other direction. It's up to you. Okay, I'm taking one chameleon bead and I'm going here through this white, just like this. Okay, and what I want to do is take one chameleon, go through this golden that's on my way. Okay, 
then I'm taking another chameleon and I'm going here at this white you see where okay and then again a chameleon go through this white that's sticking out the most a chameleon go through this white that's in the center take one go through the golden okay one again go through this white that's on one one side of my cross then again a white Uh, sorry, a uh, chameleon and go through the white. And then again, a chameleon and go through the white. And then go through this golden in the center. First in this direction and then in this direction. Okay. Then again, I'm doing the same thing. I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now I'm going here through this last white bead. Okay, just like this. Okay, guys, and what I'm going to do next is go here in this direction. Okay, and now I'm exiting here after these two chameleon beads and I'm going to take just one chameleon and what I want to do is go back here in circle through those two beads then again here in this direction okay now I have this in my next step, I'm going through this chameleon bead here at the top. And I'm going to take three chameleon beads, just like this, and I'm going here through this one. Then again, I will repeat what I did here. I'm going in this direction through those two beads. Then I go through the following chameleon. And I take just one chameleon bead. And I go back here through these two again. You see where my needle is? Through these two back in circle. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to show you again. I go here at the edge where those two beads are and I want to connect them with three beads. Okay, I'm going like this. Then I go through the white and through the following chameleon and if you can, by the way, you could go through the two chameleons in one movement it's not always possible but now i did it okay and i take one chameleon and i go back in circle through these two chameleon beads then again what i do is go in this direction go here and take three skip the one here at the top and go like this okay guys and 
I will do this off camera and I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing those steps, just rewind the video and repeat them from here and I'll meet you in a while. And here I am guys where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I'm going to do next is take a golden one, go through this chameleon, take one more golden and go through this chameleon. Okay. Then here go one bead before this one that's sticking out the most and take three goldens. Skip the one at the top and go here through these two. Okay. Now I have this. Then I take again a golden, go through this one that's sticking here. Then another golden. Go through this one here and through the following and take three goldens. Skip the one that's in the center and go through the following two. Okay, and again a golden and a golden and then three beads. Okay, and I did half of my work and off camera i will do the other half if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind from here and repeat it see you in a while okay and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row you see and what i'm going to do next is go here through this golden and add three beads and then go through the other golden you see what i have then what i do is go through all of those beads in this direction just like this and exit out of this golden and take three goldens skip the one in the center and go through the other golden okay and you see guys this is an easy step and i'll let you do this by yourself until the end if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind and see what i do here okay and here i am at my last step and what I want to do is add this golden and go through as many beads as you can in this direction. Okay, and what I do is that I go through these three goldens here at the top. And what I need are three chameleon beads. And I'm going here through this top bead like this. Then again, I'm taking three chameleons. And I go here through this golden. Through all the three of them. Then three. And go here. Three again. And go here. And this row, guys, is also really easy and I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself until the end. If not, rewind the video and see what I'm doing here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, and as I continued adding three everywhere, this is what I have. And here, guys, what I want to do is an additional step 
Okay, I want to make a new thread pad and make this stay in a better shape. Okay, I'm, I'm exiting here out of the first chameleon and I skip the next one that's on my way and I go like this through the next two. Why I do this? Because when I skip this central one and I pull, it goes out a little bit and it will help me make a better edge without my work bending. That is why I'm doing it. Okay, it's not obligatory, but I prefer to do this. Okay, then I go through the chameleon again. I skip the one that's on my way. And then I go through the chameleon and through the golden. Okay, like this. Then again, I pull this bit and it pops out like an angle here. Then I will do the same thing with the goldens. I skip the one that's on my way. Go through the golden and if you can in the next chameleon just to save time, pull and pop out this golden. Okay. Sometimes it pops out by itself, sometimes you should help it. Okay, then skip the next and go through these two. Okay, pop it out. Okay, and I will continue doing this for every tree next beads until the end and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i just finished this row and what i want to do is go through these two chameleon beads now what i need to take are seven chameleon beads okay and i skip these goldens that are three goldens that are on the edge and with my seven chameleons, I go in the next chameleon edge. Okay, I have this. Now, this is a bend that I do above these three goldens. Now, what I need are five golden beads. Okay, five. And as I'm exiting through this chameleon, I go through the next chameleon. You see where I'm adding the goldens, where here is only one golden. And now I need to add seven chameleons. Okay, and I add them above these goldens and I skip them and go in the next chameleon. Then what I need are five goldens. Okay, five. And I go in the next chameleon edge. Then again sev seven. And I go here skipping the golden beads in the next chameleon edge. Okay, and I will continue this three more times. If you forgot, just rewind the video and see and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads per this row and pay attention where you go okay don't go the mistake to go through this chameleon bead okay and now i have this and now i'm going to do an additional thread pad okay and how i do this i go through all of those chameleons like this reinforcing them Then here where the goldens are, I want to make an angle. That is why I'm going through two goldens. Skipping the one that's on my way, which is the central of my five. And I go here through the next two goldens. And because... Um, I pull this bit to this side, it makes a nice angle. Then what I do is just go through all of those beads because I want here to be something like an arch, not with angles. In contrast with the goldens, which are angled. Okay. Then I go through the first two goldens. Like this. Skip the one at the angle, 
pull if the angle doesn't form pull again and then I'm gonna be following the arch making it in a nice shape reinforcing it then here then I will show you this one more time skipping the central going through these goldens okay now guys i think you got the idea and you could do it until the end of this row if not rewind the video and repeat it see you in a while okay and i just did this golden angle and here what i want to do is go through four beads in this direction and this is the central bead of my seven uh, the one that I'm exiting out of I mean because here I have one to three beads one to three beads and I'm exiting out of this central one and what I want to do is take a golden one of my earring findings and then a golden again okay this is what I have here and I'm going back through this chameleon bead Okay, then I will go back here, reinforcing this. Okay, now I have this and I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by going here at the edge making here a loop and going once and going second time through this loop i've made and i make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and i pull then i go through the following seed bead and i could cut my thread Okay guys, and now my retro seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button, and in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, and um, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in the description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.